Hey guys, so today we have a back and leg workout. So I'm starting it off with the row. This is going to be working your lat and your upper back. As you can see, I'm going slow on the eccentric and pulling fast, trying to get that full muscle contraction, trying to achieve hypertrophy. There are a few exercises that I did, that I did not include in today's video, but I hope you enjoy and I'm just going to, you know, talk through everything. And uh, if you like it, leave a like and subscribe. So I'm doing 12 reps each side. I do that for three sets. And then I have another set after that going to failure. And then now right side. So this side, same thing as the left. You want to have one knee on, one hand using there, but you don't want to use your body too much. You want to leave it mostly to your back to do the pulling. If I was jerking my back too much, it would be less of a movement for your back. It would be more of a movement for your entire body or at least the right side of your body. So from here, you can see the contraction of the lat as well as upper back. And, you know, this is great. It's going to help you do more pull-ups. It's going to help you achieve more muscle hypertrophy. And it's one of my favorite exercises for the back. And now we're going to move to the deadlift. So this is one of the exercises I enjoy doing as kind of a warm up for the deadlift. So take 50 pounds in both hands. It's gonna work a little bit of your lower back as well as your uh, hamstrings. And um, overall, this is a good way to warm up. If you wanna do it with lighter weight, that's fine before you go into the deadlift. Deadlift is great for your, your hamstrings. You wanna isolate the hamstrings in the, in the glute instead of getting a lot of, most people use it as a back workout, but I like to use it as, you know, hamstring and glute. Um, but here I'm just going, you know, past failure and then I'm done. So here we're going into the pull-up. This is, everybody knows what this is for. It's going to be for your lats. You know, I'm using a band so I can get the full muscle contraction going slow on the way down and fast on the way up. And, you know, depending on your level with pull-ups, you can change it. I would advise using a band so you can get more reps in. Maybe at the end, last set, you go full all out. Here, I'm starting to struggle because when I'm going down slow, I'm getting that full muscle contraction and it's really burning. But you got to push through the burn because that's when you're achieving the most. So here, I'm just trying to get out partials. Actually, I make another one. Let's see. I don't think I make another one after this. Yeah, that's just me doing some partials. Getting the best I can get. I can get out of it. And I think that's it. During this set, I had a bit of workout motivation music. Get low for, um, you know, for the squat. Perfect song for the squat. And it was 205. I, ha I don't usually work my legs as much as my upper body, which I know everybody's like, oh, bodybuilder doesn't work his legs. But I already have nice legs, just they're not as defined. It's where, you know, you hold, all sometimes you hold a lot of fat in the quad and in the hamstring if you're a male. Um, but I'm working on it. And as you can see, I'm putting in effort, not going as low due to some problems I've had with the L4 and L5 in my spine. One of the most important things for squatting is your core. And as well, you want to be stabilized. You do not want to have injuries. If you're bending over your back you're, and you have like hunched over, you're going to cause problems in your back. If you have your knees pointed inwards, you can cause injury to the muscles around your knee. That's why people, there's so many people who have ACL injuries, they tear a muscle and it's because they're being reckless. If you can go for lots of reps and have it be difficult, but without, you know, going crazy, you're going to progress over time. And that's what you really want to do. You don't need to push it too hard. If you push it too hard, you're going to like kill yourself. You got to go slow, slow, up, up, up. And then, you know, once you get to a place where you know what you can do, that's when you can push it. Now you're going to see my physique update. So physique update, feel pretty good, pretty full. 
trying to get leaner still. It's a process. I've been eating in like 2,000 calories ish, but uh, it gets difficult. I'm not genetically uh, predisposed to be super duper lean, but I feel pretty good. Legs feel nice at the moment, but I'm not gonna see results in days. It takes more time. But always look at your physique, see your weak points, and push them to be better. That's my advice. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. I can literally do anything you guys want me to do, so just let me know. And peace.